hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have added the ai characters now from this video onwards we will start working on our traffic ai scripts so right here in the scripts folder we will create another folder and let's name this folder as traffic ai then inside this folder we will create another c sharp script by the name of waypoint let's open the script right here we will add a header by the name of waypoint status and at the top we will say public waypoint let's name this as previous waypoint then create another public of type waypoint and let's name this as next waypoint and now with this type right here let me tell you first of all that how our waypoint system will work so consider this character as the AI character okay we will attach a character navigator script to this character okay and in that script we will type a code for searching for a waypoint okay so for example this is the character and we have attached the character navigator script to this character okay don't worry we will do that in the upcoming videos we will create that script but for now let me tell you how this whole thing will work okay so this character will search in the environment for a waypoint so for example if this character finds this waypoint okay it will get closer to this waypoint okay and when the ai character reaches this first waypoint then on this first waypoint and actually on all of this eight waypoint we will attach this waypoint script okay not manually of course automatically so now if this first waypoint has this waypoint script okay then on this we will be storing the data for the previous waypoint and the next waypoint okay so when the character reaches this waypoint okay the character will know that now the next waypoint is 2 okay so the player will simply move towards the 2 waypoint and the previous waypoint for this 1 will be this 8 waypoint okay then let's move the player in this direction okay so if the player reaches this second point okay then on the second waypoint we will have a data for the next and previous so for the two the next waypoint will be the three okay and for this two the previous waypoint will be one okay then as you know that when the player reaches this third one then for this third one the next will be four and the previous will be second okay so in this way our player will walk around this waypoints okay and let me tell you the reason behind storing the previous waypoint data is that in the upcoming videos you will know that when we create this whole AI system for traffic okay then we will not be moving all of the traffic character in the same direction okay because it will look weird we will want some character to move in the opposite direction so that's why we are creating the reference for the previous waypoint as well so some of the character will walk in the previous waypoints as well okay so i hope you understand how this ai system will work right here let's create a range from 0 to 5 okay and then down below we will say public float waypoint width and by default the width will be 1 f but the maximum value for this will be from 0 to 5 okay and let me tell you this what this waypoint width is okay this will be basically the area in which the AI characters will walk in okay so for example consider this black circle as the waypoint and this yellow line as the waypoint width okay so in this width okay in this waypoint width inside this the ai characters will work for example if there is the next waypoint and then here is the previous waypoint okay then inside this area the character will work if the character is moving in the 
forward direction or you can say in the next point direction then the character will walk right here but if the character is moving in the previous then he will walk right here okay so that's why we, we use this waypoint width okay and we can also increase this width from 0 to 5 you can increase this value if you want then after this let's create a public vector 3 by the name of get position vector 3 let's name this as minimum bound then we will say transform dot position plus transform dot right let's multiply that by the waypoint width and divide that by 2 then let me copy this paste it down below let's name this as maximum bound and in unity we can't use this left word okay so in order to draw the maximum mount we will say minus and then transform dot right and then we will multiply that by the waypoint width and divide that by 2 okay then we will say return vector 3 dot lerp let's pass the minimum bound then the maximum bound and then we will say random dot range and we will say 0 to 1 that is it so what this will simply do is as I told you this will create some space between the waypoints in order to let the character walk in okay it will basically create this width okay to the left side and to the right side from the middle of the waypoint okay this will create that space actually so now with this done let's end this video right here and we will continue this from the next video